Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I have a pretty good one. Unfortunately, was not able to record yesterday. I had a really long day of work. I tried to record a little bit, but my brain was just pretty much fried. Uh, and I I lost like four runs of Unfair in a row. It was miserable. So I just kind of scrapped the recording session. Uh, and am coming to you today much more refreshed and ready to play a Slicey Dicey. Now, uh, if you're watching this video when it is being, or, or roughly around the time of it getting uploaded, if you're one of the first people to watch this video, maybe come check out a, a live stream that I should be doing currently. I should be streaming a little slice and dice over at Twitch. It should be cool. It should be fun. And uh, yeah, uh, if you don't want to watch that, then no hard feelings. <laughs> it should be cool. Uh, but anyway, let's play the game. Let's get in here. Uh, and yeah, I, you know what? I think that greens do suck for unfair mode, but I I still like mountain and I want to make it work. So let's take this here, and I don't hate Tinder as a green character. It's pretty good, and I am a little bit worried about Meddler on this team. We got to be careful. But um, what's the worst that can happen, right? A oh, tough HP is like an all star unfair curse. Everyone's always telling me it's like really strong. And you know what? Barricade isn't too bad of a curse, I feel like, either. I think we can make we can make this work, maybe. And is there anything here we can take maybe for one of these blessings? We should look at the blessings and consider them. Um, hold on a second. So save spell, heal and shield five, cleanse single cast is pretty cool, but I don't know if it's worth three whole points. Middle shield. Middle shield's pretty interesting. It's good on all of our starting characters pretty much here, right? And all we would have to do maybe for this is take, like, heavy dice and, like, either slow spells or monster right one. But monster right one is scary because it's where monsters often have their summon sides. I think we just go tough HP and barricade and just play this as is here. We play very defensive, and we should hopefully be okay. And be careful about summoning things. We need to make sure we don't summon too much here, hopefully. Uh, what's, what's nice about monster tough HP is that we can bypass the tough HP with Slay as well. So that gives me really good ho hopes here that we'll be able to kind of just kind of beat ass basically today. I'm not too worried about it in general. You get four mana. I forgot about Barricade. So everyone's in the back now. We can burst one of these bees down. But we might just want to save mana for a slay next turn. I think that's fine. I think that is okay. Okay, this bee is dying. Save this to make sure Ally doesn't die. You know, I'll just make sure we don't summon any bones here too. I'll lock in the, the one mana cantrip this turn, I think. Okay. Where's the targeting happening here? On you, on you. Okay, so get a lot more value out of this being here. You can kill here. Hit, poke, and then we can slay the wolf. And then the ar archer should flee. This is going to be a very long run, I think. Because I'm going to have to try my best to just be actually methodical here. And not just uh, be very impatient and just clicking things really quickly. But I think this is pretty doable. I... And very happy to get rid of Meddler right away here. Although the funny thing is that I think the the Meddler is not terrible this combat. Because making bones and then killing the bones to deal damage to the thorns is not a horrible line for us here. But ultimately, I don't want to really play it that way. I think Caldera is one of the better blues we can find for this team right now. So I'm pretty okay with this currently. Let's see if we can get a better shield here. That's good enough. Okay, so this is going to be very dicey. So we, we're going to have to just, like, let one of you guys die, I think, here. Oh, I forgot about Barricade, too. Shit. Oh, wait, when Tinder dies, do they both die here, actually? No, you're immune to the ability damage. Interesting. Okay, well, the nice thing is that... Thorn runs away here from, from us being too healthy, so that's nice. But a uh, bit of a yucky fight for us. But that you know, that's thorns versus mountains, right? That's that's gonna you have to expect that sometimes it's gonna happen every once in a while, right? Um 
You know what? I'm going to take Big Heart here. I don't like Big Heart. I think it's kind of bad. But on this team, is it's got a very good utility because no one on our team at all can heal currently. And being able to heal sometimes is actually pretty nice. You know what? It's a good turn for healing, I feel like. So I'll take this. I'll take this and be pretty happy about it, I think, today. Um, Hit here. Hit here. It hit here, and I think we should just maybe burst the, the archer down. And that should be fine. And if we can slay this boar, the goblin will just run. What's, uh, you know, tricky about that, though, is actually killing the, the boar. Because of the barricade. But you know what we can do? We can skull, but then I can't slay anymore. Shit. Hold on. There's no point in this. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's look at let's look at things here. What do we do, skulls? That doesn't look too bad, actually. Oh, you're still you're still dying though. Shit. That keeps you alive. Okay. And you know what? He's got he's got three health left. If we can just get a a kill here, we're good. But we actually do just have lethal here too. Hold on. Yeah, this is lethal. We just do this into this, and then we can burst. We don't have to get the. Oh, we, we also. I'm stupid. We don't have slay anymore. We got rid of we got rid of meddler. I'm actually dumb. You guys should just not listen to what I say anymore, I think, actually. I'll take a Sparky here. Sparky and Caldera should work well enough together. Um, Caldera makes decent enough consistent mana. And then uh, Sparky can also roll this, which is pretty nice. This should be good. That's what I'm trying to say right now, basically. Although we are going to probably want to rush down the alpha here. We also just kind of can't rush down the alpha, I'm now realizing. That's pretty good. Okay. You know what, though? We don't do this yet. We don't do this yet because we... No one's taking damage this turn. We can just zap next turn. There's no cool... Oh, there is cooldown on zap. Ah, you know what? Whatever. Okay. Because there's cooldown on zap, we'll do it this turn. But generally, I like, I like trying to save mana for like things like charge sides. Yada, yada, etc. This turn's looking pretty good anyway. Yeah, not too worried. Okay, put the burst here. Alpha is summoning, but we're doing a pretty good job of keeping up with the summons here, so I am not too worried. We do not have you at half health yet. If we hit, this is six. No, we're still not quite there. But if someone else can hit this turn... Take this. Okay, extremely good luck for us here. There we go. Nice. This doesn't look too tough. The the tough HP illusions are actually very menacing to me, I feel like. Uh, I'm going to decline this, too. Remedy. Very happy to have access to a little cleanse on this team. That should be pretty good. I should put this over on Sparky. But, uh, yeah, the, the very menacing... With the with the two HP we, uh, illusions here, but we should be able to manage just fine. I hope. Okay, a little bit of a weak turn actually. You have to kill one of them. The other one, unfortunately, not going to be dying today. Hold on, wait a second. Yeah, we actually. Oh, that's so fucking stupid. Not a big deal. We just can't get to him. Tragic. I will not be wasting my Sparky Dice on this illusion that can't die to it, so no thank you. I'll take these. I'll settle for the one mana this turn. We don't have to be too picky today. And there we go. War Chief goes down. I think Pilgrim should be okay for this team. Guardian and Pilgrim both fine here. 
I actually kind of maybe just like the seven heal better than I like the uh, the undying. Although on this opening turn, maybe the undying would have been better. Who knows? Okay, where's all the damage coming from right now? So we have one, two, three, four. Hmm. We're a little bit short on killing this quartz. As it stands, we're not too far off. I think we'll hold that as well. Oh, Sparky, never change. We can zap the blind next turn, hopefully. Tinder dies here. It's unfortunate, but it's whatever. I'll settle for two mana this turn. Hmm. You can do better than the repel shield, hopefully. Ooh, the seven heals are really good here, too. Okay, that's pretty good. This kills the quartz for me. Which is fantastic. And then we can just do this into burst here. Although we also can do this into zap. Which keeps you alive as well, Ally, which I think is a little bit better. Okay. Losing only one character here. Not ideal, obviously, but could be much worse. And it is Tinder. He's the one who's supposed to die, so it's okay if Tinder ends up being in the vortex for a bit. I think an Abacus here. Don't hate seeing Abacus. Might be a decent choice somewhere to Abacus Big Heart. I don't think there is, though. Yeah. Another here screams to me, oh, yeah, we need our left side replaced here with a Big Heart. But uh, in the future, that's an option, potentially. You know, we'll see. Uh, Tinder getting their life threatened once again. Sparky, though, hitting big, which is nice to see. And... Uh, Pilgrim getting the stun here is also very good. Very happy about that. And we will probably just stun the ogre. Although I, I need to hit you once first. It looks like to stun you. Oh, and Tinder, I didn't realize rolled this. Okay, Tinder, Tinder dies here, actually. Never mind. This goes here. And I want to kill this barrel eventually. We're a little ways away from it. Scald's gonna be pretty strong next turn, though. If we can get a little Scald value off here, potentially. It'd be really nice for us. I will take this this turn as well. Reuse here. I just, I just need a two mana side on Caldera, and we're pretty much set for life. The one mana attack is good enough, I suppose. It's not, not optimal. Kill here, Scald kills there. Put a shield here, and we're pretty much we're pretty much okay. No point in bursting the barrel down this turn. Also, we can't burst the barrel down because it's uh, more damaged with barricade. But uh, we have extremely lethal here. Just do this. Okay, cool. Uh, I hate both of you. I will not negotiate with terrorists. This is actually pretty decent. Um, looks fine to me. We don't need to. We can do. We can do like abacus here. Um, but the it's not like it gets any extra H, stone HP. But I think you actually it's the inner two HP. This is actually pretty sweet for us. Because right now it's just the two stone HP. So when he gets damaged, he's immediately losing that stone health. If we have abacus on granite. He goes up to three health. We have two stone HP, and then one normal HP is a bit of a buffer there, which is pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. See? Oh, and look, it immediately played out the way we wanted it to. Very cool. Very happy about that. I do need to kill this Slimelet. So let's try to do that, huh? We can take Death Defy here. Which is okay, but not that good this turn. Kinda just can't kill the slime, which is cringe. Do this. Oh, you know what we can do actually here? I'm stupid. Could have killed the slime the whole time. 
Oh well. Oh well. He's coming back at me again here. I'm gonna take a self shield here because we should be able to hopefully self shield a good side on Caldera this turn. That should hopefully be enough. For remedy here. Past turn. Expect to get maybe some scald value this turn. Can you please stop hitting me with the flanking attacks, you son of a bitch? What have I done to deserve this, man? That's actually pretty good, though. You hit. Hit. Kill your ass. Zap your ass. Stun you. Okay. Put a shield here because it is more efficient. And then... Oh, God damn, stop hitting my caldera! You know, I'll just to be safe, we'll do this. We should just look for a heavy attack there, probably, but whatever. Zap. And we should be able to get lethal here. Probably, maybe, hopefully. Give me a stun just in case. Mm, who's getting targeted here? Okay, cool. There we go. Okay. Ooh, Fairy Pact is interesting. Although... A little spooky. We can put it on Sparky, though. And it makes Sparky much more uh, dependable when it comes to mana generation. You know what I think the line is here? I think the line is take Fairy Pack, but we don't use it currently. But you could put it on Alloy, and then he has 1 HP, which is kind of funny. I think, we, I think we don't use it currently. I think we expect that whatever our... Uh, and also, I don't hate it on Granite, actually, here, too. It's kind of neat. Now he now goes back to just having Stone HP. I think we can actually make this work. Um, but I th I think in theory, Fairy Pack will be good for whatever our dog shit tier 3 green is. And we can just slap it on there and not be too upset about it. Probably. That's my plan, at least. Um, This doesn't seem too bad. Deathify this turn looks pretty good, too. Okay. So we're going to kill some illusions today. Mm. I could do Death Defy here. And you're still poisoned, which sucks, actually. Hold on. If we leave the illusions life here. Actually, this might be a turn where illusions aren't that threatening. We might do like this into this into Zap on the Imp here. And then we can stun Slimer, which is preventing a lot of damage. Do I have any more rerolls left? Because now, now the Granite's Death Defy is kind of worthless. Yeah, it just doesn't do much. Ah, shit, hold on. I need to put this here, I guess. You do, like, this, maybe, instead? It's just kind of meh. But whatever, it's fine. Get Caldera and Alloy both weaken this turn. Kind of meh, whatever. Who's, who, so Slimer is killing the alloy here. You can just do this and then like burst the illusion down here. It just feels kind of weak as well, but it, it more or less gets the job done basically. Should be pretty good here. And then Granite rolling the four shield should be very strong. I'll settle for this this turn. It doesn't look too bad. Okay. Uh, Sparky hitting. You love to see a goat hit. And... Meh. 
Very meh this turn. You get to go like burst, burst, zap, burst. Put a cleanse shield here. Okay, we should. I mean, we're a scald away from killing them both right now, so we just need two more mana to win. Just need two more mana to win. That gets the job done too. Okay. Okay. On this, I mean, we're a mountain team, so the cleric makes sense here, but knight is pretty solid as well. I, I'm going to go cleric here, and the, the reason is twofold. Well, actually threefold even. Cleric, I mean, they both actually hold the, the fairy pack pretty well, not amazingly, but pretty well in general. But heals with granite is pretty good. We have very limited access to healing on this team, right? And then also just mana support, cleanse as well. We have very little cleansing. I think Cleric works better here today, but genuinely debatable choice there. I wouldn't fault you one way or another for picking any of those choices. I don't hate this. I think this is pretty good too. Okay. Luckily, no one's targeting the Cleric. Very happy to see that today. Cleric rolling the four mana, also extremely good here. We have access to a lot of mana. I think we take this actually so we can get some more Scald value this turn. And Death Defy does keep Sparky alive here too, which is pretty cool. Although he's the only one that's actually like getting targeted for the most part. So... And we just kill this Imp actually. Yeah, this is not even that worth it. We should roll it again. Okay, well... I think even then... We still should be trying to kill this imp this turn. Hold on. Uh. At yeah, least Sparky with two HP here. I think that's fine. Then we can put like a. I'll just put a burst here too. That looks pretty decent. Is the fanatics trying to kill my ass? Cler cleric rolling huge today. Caldera can just take out this fanatic, which is nice too. Yeah, we're looking pretty good here. The stun on Sudal also looking stellar. Yeah, this is just game over. Uh, we, we do this here, I guess. And... Cool. Easy fight. Polished Emerald. The problem is it does, it does copy Fairy Pact. I don't know if I want two characters running around with Fairy Packs on them. It is like my main concern right now. I kind of don't hate Cocoon on Sparky. I feel like Sparky is a really bad turn one anyway. So I kind of like this, I think. This might be one of the few times where I kind of am really fucking with Cocoon. Generally, like, I hate this item. But it might work well here. But although I will say, with, with Sparky, with Cocoon, we probably want to make sure everyone else has enough HP to tank turn one. I think we maybe do something like this instead and take the Fairy Pact off for now. Oh, maybe it goes back to the Granite. I think we go back to this strategy, actually. That seems fine to me. Ooh, three poison from Banshee is not fun. I would like to prevent that if possible. We can get a cleanse shield here. Oh, we just gotta get a normal shield. Yuck. We hit you. I think we just go like this here. Put this here. Oh, I'm stupid. We just, you know what? I'm actually dumb. We just hit the Banshee. And then we... Ah, fuck. Okay, you know what? I have plans. I have plans. Hit here. Hit here. Stun. That looks so much nicer. Oh, my God. And then... We, 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 can't, we can't even save your, your stone HP then? We just do this instead. Okay, that's fine. That is fine with me. Pass turn. 
Oh, because the shade, the shade was hitting you. I'm stupid. Why did I, I thought that the bones was hitting you for some reason. I just can't read. That's fine. Take another stun here so we can keep the Banshee stun locked. I'll settle for the one mana this turn on Sparky too, I think. That doesn't look too bad. Shade is Shade is one damage away from dying here. Hopefully Pilgrim can just keep stun locking the Banshee. That'd be pretty nice for us. Um This is a little iffy. Although, hold on, wait a second. I need so I'll just take this, whatever, it's fine. So like right now the plan is it's very inefficient, but it's this into like this into uh kill the shade into just like hitting the banshee basically. And we should be able to kill from here pretty easily next turn. Let's see what Sparky gives us as well here, because we have another potentially really good roll here to hit. <sighs> cool. That seems fine as well. Okay, we have Remedy as well. You know what? Sure. Get rid of all the poison. Stop all the... Come on, Banshee. What the fuck? What's wrong with you, dude? Yeah, that should be... That is that is lethal here. So there we go. We'll take that. Uh, I can't imagine taking a chomp here being correct ever. Pull arm is funny, but we have no good combos with it, really. Oh, that makes me go, oh baby, it's pull arm a clock. So yeah, it's not it's not the line here. I guess you can do Sparky and turn the damage side into a charge side, but that's not even useful. Yeah, it's just a decline. I'm sorry. You know what? Sure, dice. Welcome to the team, buddy. This does not look like the worst to me. I've seen worse dice here for sure. And the Fairy Pact is not lucky, so it'll always have max value for us here. It can't be too bad. See, look at that. Eight, eight shields, genuinely a really solid turn for, for, uh, for us here. Let's do this. Let's pass. We've got a million billion bones to contend with now, and what sucks is that bones... Bones can't kill each other. They refuse. So, tragic. Pilgrim, what do you got for me, bud? Pilgrim wants us to thrive today. There might be like a better way to do that, but I don't want to figure it out. Do not want to figure out how to make that easier or better. So I don't have to. Uh, you targeting? You're targeting cleric here. Okay, yuck. I'll take this so we can definitely cleanse ourselves. That's pretty good. Take this. Oh, I forgot we have zap. I'm stupid, man. Oh well. We should be utilizing Zap more next turn. We're actually we're actually doing a pretty good job of fighting off these bones though. And the, and the longer this fight goes, the more value we get out of Sparky, so this is not, in my opinion, too bad currently. I can see things falling apart pretty quickly here on us. We need to be vigilant. Who's getting stoned here? Sparky is? Okay. Well. We'll do this, I suppose. And we've, we've caught up with the bones now. We're ahead of the curve. And again, Sparky should be scaling up here for us. So that's pretty good news. I'll also take the shield here so we can heal up Pilgrim a little bit.
Okay, cool. I'll settle for this this turn. It's not too bad. Heal 5 is good as well here. Cleanse shield for a Sparky so we can actually use this uh this this wall inside is pretty good too. Do this, we can do like scald into kill one of you. To stun the other. And I I think we put the heal Oh fuck, hold on. Where where are you where am I shielding with this? Hold on a second. Oh ah. Uh, uh. Do it this way. Okay, that works as well. That's more or less the exact same line here, although the problem with this line is that we can't scald now. Which is unfortunate. But it does stop it does stop the cleanse or the, the stone from coming in on, on Lich this way. I think it's worth a decent bit. That's fine. We can just zap this bone next turn. Probably taking a long ass time though. And there we go. Cocoon is cocooning alright. Okay, good. Twisted Flax, really good on Caldera. Uh, Kite Shield, not that good on this team currently. I'll save the immediate value here, honestly. Pretty happy with this. Ooh, Dice is getting his ass beat here. What the hell? What gives? Okay, so... This is a pretty easy line, honestly. Although, oh, fuck. I forgot about the thorns. Shit. Okay, not as easy to have a line as I, as I initially thought here. He still lives. I think Spiker does run away after this, it looks like. Yeah. I thought that one was just a complete and total dub. Um. Huh. Man. I'm gonna hate myself for this. I'm putting I'm putting I'm putting sorcerer in the cocoon, man. I'm doing it. It's gonna be miserable. I can tell. I already see it being the worst day of my life right now. But if we can survive to like turn three, which we never will. Oh baby. I think this is actually pretty decent too, especially with the sparky charge wands here. Okay. Stun is pretty good this turn. Yeah, it says explicitly Sparky Charge Wand's good with the Cleric here, so that's a pretty easy gimme. That's a really good roll too. Thank you, Dice. Dice, probably going to be actually extremely clutch today if I had to guess. That's my current guess on this one. Uh, we need to save Sparky by killing this blind here, because we can't... I mean, we could kill the Null here, but it's not really worth it. And beyond that, can we get the Alpha into... Not really. You can't really get it into uh, what's it called range here. Can't get it into stun range. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll just hit like uh, maybe like this null into poison into like a stun here probably. This seems okay. Pilgrim's getting his ass beat this turn. Look for a stun. We get a stun. Get a big. We get some big heals here too. I like all of what I'm seeing right now this turn. Sorcerer maybe two mana. Very cool. Put this here. Can I zap a no? I can't. Which sucks. Okay, I can zap this one, actually. You're, you're stunned already. Shit, hold on. The stun here, then. We can just zap you. That makes a lot more sense to me, personally. Um. Keep, keep the Pilgrim's HP up here. 
for future for future stuns. And now sorcerer. Okay, we've done the work, sorcerer. We've invested. It's time for you to pay out. Okay. And he is kind of paying out for us here, which is nice to see. I'll just lock in here on this one. We don't have to go any further. Mm. Oh, I. you know what? I'm stupid. Hold on. We have a slight issue. I can't kill the gnolls with bursts. Hold on. Okay. Um... Kill. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. I can't kill you with two damage either. Shit. Hey, I hit you. And I zap you. Okay. That's good so far. And then right now. The sorcerer is dying. We can, we can fix that. Probably. Almost certainly. With just bursting. Pass the turns. Alpha has two poisons, so Alpha will die to the poison eventually here, I think. Well, I could you know what? I could have just gone double Miasma there, and then the, the tough HP would have been overcome. Yeah, whatever. Okay, wait, whatever. Who cares? We survive. No one dies. Very cool. Uh, Charge League should be pretty good in Cleric here, I think. It's going to be a little tricky, though. It's going to be quite a bit tricky. But again, this is all about just barely surviving. We can, If we can just make it by the tiny little bit of HP here, we'll be okay, I think. I want to stun. I want to stun this turn. Okay, you know what? That works, too. Yes, we're working with 7 HP right now. Put this here. Go probably a cleanse shield here. That looks pretty nice, yeah. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Sparky getting absolutely fucking toasted, though, it looks like. But we, we broke both of the ghost, ghost HP here. So we should be able to at least kill one of them with a zap here. And then maybe protect the the ghost from the other... Or Sparky from the other ghost, it looks like. Honestly, two damage here doesn't look too bad. I'll take that. I'll settle this turn on, on Sorcerer as well. Okay, all very good rolls here. Thank you very much, team. I appreciate you coming through Clutch today. Zap your ass here. Remedy here, probably, and then like, maybe just fully heal Sparky this turn. Actually, Sorcerer's the more important character, even though they're not, they're not poisoned. Sorcerer is about to go big mode here. So definitely protect the Sorcerer more. Okay. I'll settle for this. That looks pretty good this turn. Honestly, I'll settle for this too. Okay, Sorcerer did kind of fuck me today. Uh, I think we kill you. Oh no, we kill you. Ah, fuck! Hold on, you. Ah, you're still, you're still in the back line. Shit! God damn it! I hate that we have to do it this way, but I wanted to, I wanted to zap the chomp next turn. Instead, we have to play it this way. God damn it. Okay, Sorcerer, don't fuck me again. You have one job, Sorcerer. Do not fuck me. There we go. Thank you. Cool. Uh, Poet works way better on this team than, than Valkyrie does. That's a pretty easy pickup here. Um... Just thinking, just thinking. Honestly, I kind of like Big Heart here. It's a little bit of a non-bow. We have one less mana side for the cleric charge side thingy here, but that's not even that big of a deal anymore. 
So yeah, I think we play it this way. Okay, settle for these. Okay, big turn, even though even though Sorcerer ain't doing shit for us today. We get 13 mana to play with. That seems pretty decent. Now we should put the shield probably on on dice here first. Then we do this, and then we probably do something like this into this as well. To cleanse off most of this poison slash weaken coming in here. But putting three poison on, on Tarantus and killing two of the spiders this turn looks pretty good to me. I am okay with this current line of, of, of uh, gameplay. Hey, Sorcerer, I will always hate you. Hey, Sorcerer, you know what? Honestly, this is probably for the best that you die here, huh? It's probably for the best that you get eaten by Tarantus and we never see you again. Uh, who do I want this on? Probably on dice here. Pull the rest. Try again. Definitely keep that. Okay, all we have to do is just fight three spiders now. Shouldn't be too hard for us. We did lose the sorcerer, though. The sorcerer, I mean, was going to get eaten no matter what, right? So kind of just how it goes. Uh, fine, we'll do it this way. Should be able to get some zaps next turn, hopefully. You rolling a zero on the attack there is very bad news for us. Rolling the four mana side, though, extremely worth. Thank you. Who's the worst here? Who's doing the most damage this turn? Probably the one killing you. Yeah, unfortunately, we lose Cleric as well, it looks like. Tragic, but hey, this, at least this spider runs away, so that's pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, Spark? Spark, huh? I mean, there will be turns just with dice where Spark is net positive, which is pretty sweet. And I don't think we have a great poison dip angle here. I guess we can put it on Sparky, actually. Ooh, we can put it on Sparky. Then we have to keep Sparky to the very end, which I don't want to do. I think it's actually a, a Spark angle here today. And we'll put this on Poet. And boom, just like that, we've already we've already managed to roll a side that is worth uh, sparking. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough mana to do it anyway. Un you know, so, whatever. Tragic. Tragic, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll put this probably here on Poet. I think we'll kill the zombie this turn. And then, although, hold on. Wait, if we... If we're killing the zombie, how does this currently look? Not amazing. We'll put this here still. And we should do a cleanse shield here. Because of the pain coming in from Wisp and then also the poison coming in. I think that makes sense. Okay, Sorcerer getting getting killed by the Wiz this turn. Not that scary, honestly. And Dice Dice doing some pretty good stuff for us today. Rolling some pretty nice sides here. Also, this is a pretty good line, too. Wow. I do not hate how this is shaping up here. Okay, cool. We've recovered. Very good stuff. I actually, I think, really like Artificer on this team. Mainly because it's just very a very front-loaded character, while we have this sorcerer being very back-loaded with the cocoon play. But... Keeper is a really strong gray for our our team to have too. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go keeper. We can we can do we can find blues that do a pretty similar job here too, or even a better job. Like some something like Weaver would be very good on this team. Artificer does hold the charge link pretty well though too. 
But again, I think Keeper is just too strong here defensively. Be pretty happy to have that. Um, I don't know where Charge Link currently goes. It kind of just nowhere. It doesn't do. It does nothing on Sparky. Sparky already has Charge and Single Use. It does genuinely nothing. It's bad on Sorcerer. It's bad on Poet here. I'm pretty sure too. So, we should actually do those. One thing I've just realized is a, is a big miss that for my for my team is just this line, just a free plus one if we're playing it this way anyway. Yeah, Charge Link goes sideline for now. We'll see what our final character is. Maybe we'll want someone that can use it. Maybe we, we don't care. Who knows? I'll take pretty much all of these. Those are very good rolls. Okay. Um, pretty good turn one. I think that's pretty okay. I think we can afford to put this here as well. We did lose shield. Shield was was very nice to have. That's kind of sad, but whatever. We can go, in theory, burst into uh, zap on this shade right now. Or I guess just mana attack here that works too. I will take all of these. Sorcerer, never, never stop. Live your truth. Fly your freak flag or whatever. Hmm. We can go like burst into zap on the shade here. Sparky goes on to 1 HP, but hopefully our dice, or maybe Sparky himself, can just give him some health next turn. To keep him from dying. We'll take this, actually, just to make sure we can keep Sparky alive here. Because let's just say we keep Sparky alive with this. Oh, baby. Kill you. This kills the sniper, for sure. Zap, and then there we go. Cool. Uh, does Time Stone do anything crazy for us here? It would go pretty hard in the paint with dice if we took off Abacus. Yeah, it's actually pretty solid. I, I don't like Time Stone generally, but it's actually pretty good here. Take off the Abacus, we put Time Stone down. And then we have a, a potentially shitty heal cantrip, but always an amazing mana cantrip here. That's pretty decent. Could also go Abacus and then <laughs> Time Stone on Sorcerer, which is literally nothing. You can do it on we can do it on Sparky as well. We can go like this is a pretty decent line. You can go Abacus and then Time Stone here, and it's just two one mana cantrips, which is not terrible. I think I think this is the way to play it. Or not this. Uh this. I think this is clearly without a doubt there's a better line here for us. And then so Abacus can go here. It's fine. Okay. Very good so far. Very bad turn here so far, though. What the fuck? I'll take this. Um, the heal does nothing, obviously. We're going to roll that. We should probably just roll everything here. Okay, very good stuff. You can go... Can't really kill anyone this turn, unfortunately. Not really, not really a, a, a good line. Mm. This is net positive on shield, which is cool. We can do this into this here. Just fine. I would love to, if possible, before we do that, though. Which I think we maybe can do. Yeah, we can. Or no, we can't do it. No, we can't. If we can get, like, one burst onto Keeper before doing the, the spark, it'd be better. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, 
Put a burst here. But the problem with this is that you're getting pain this turn, which sucks. We do this to remove the pain, I guess. We could do a little little miasma as well. I think we just save mana for next turn. Yeah, rough spot to be in here, though, for sure. One demon taking the turn of the summon is pretty good news. Oh, my God. These are great rolls. Okay. We can just merc one of these fuckers real quick here with the with the sparky. You know what we should do? Probably we should probably do this as well. That looks that looks pretty good to me. Now what sucks here is that we kind of are screwed a little bit. Is this not, is that not a single cast? Hold on a second. Wait a second. Oh my god, we can we can get a, a actual billion mana here. Okay, here I have a I have a really good line. Oh my god, I have a good line. Okay, hold on. We do this. We get all of our mana here. Do this. Hit the demon. And we have now made 50 mana. Which is, I think, pretty good. The problem with this line, though, is that it does mean that... Um, the demons will both summon here. Or the demons will both survive the turn, basically. That is the problem with this current plan. We can kill the cause. And then, you know, the poison doesn't actually help us here at all. And no one's pain next turn. We should win this. That, that, I didn't, I, you know what? I had never thought, I had never thought about Spark being single use or not. That's so cool. It is not single use. It, it continues to go after it after it activates, which is pretty neat. Oh, you son of a bitch! Hold on. No, yeah, we have to do we have to do this. God damn it! Oh no, hold on. No, we get there. We get there. There we go. There we go. Demons destroyed. It's the hand as our final fight. Huh. It's got to be a warlock here. It does hurt my soul a little bit, but we need a payoff for the mana. And warlock does that really well. So, yeah. I kind of don't hate this play again. We can do this. I think it's pretty decent. I also don't hate this line as well because now we can put we can do a we can do like another spark combo here with these being charged up now instead. I think we actually just take a cocoon off. I think we're try we're trying to win on turn one here. I think I think cocoon's actually a bait right now for this fight. I think it's maybe been a bait the entire fucking game. But it's definitely a bait here. So let's rock this. It seems pretty good to me. Um let's go. Keep this. Roll the rest. Keep rolling. Okay, we do have the combo here, basically. So, we... Well, hold on. Do this first. And put this, I guess, here, whatever. And we do have 47 mana. <laughs> so that should win the game. Oh, hold on. I guess, you know what? I guess we can just do this, huh? We can just poison him out here. Excuse me. Oh, I... Okay, well, that's a little annoying. I guess I haven't straight up won. Hmm. Yeah, this does leave the hand with 3 HP. I guess, in theory, if I somehow completely whiff next turn and the hand summons savers, we could lose this. But I'm pretty confident this is a winning line. And yeah, we, we have won the game now. Hooray. Okay, so. Cool run. That was a neat one. I did, I gotta say, Sparks... Uh, definitely uh, play of the game. 
play of the game sparks here for sure was really strong for that team um and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and also you know what hey listen shout out to dice dice is maybe controversial opinion one of the better tier three greens i think they're mostly dog shit but dice is okay mainly because you can usually find a good side each turn obviously you can get unlucky and they could all be like twos and this character is is pretty bad but they have 12 hp by default as well they held the fairy pack well enough for us there so i think it, i think it went well enough anyway i will see you goodbye